As it always is with us diehard researchers, we just never have the funding. No one will invest in something that is not supposed to exist. So we have to do with the tools we can afford. Sometimes it takes a small inventor to make an apparatus by hand that can turn the universe on its heels. John Leonard Walson, bravo. John Leonard Walson is destined to go down in history as discovering a technique to see and record actual starships that are in perfect orbit around Earth, but that appear to be in deep space, resembling stars in the constellations. John Leonard Walson is one of those rare individuals we only meet once in a millennium. I feel he is among the likes of Nikola Tesla, Leonardo da Vinci, and his techniques for filming these enormous starships in space have garnered him acclaim by scientists at NASA and Cambridge University. He has personally revealed his filming techniques to professors of astronomy that have left his backyard in total awe of what is there. We are at an impasse where many people are so incredulous and skeptical that even if the Messiah himself came back for a visit, he would find himself in a world of chaos, non-believers, and a war mindset. Perhaps if these interstellar communities are from other worlds, maybe they are just waiting for us to do ourselves in, so they don't have to deal with a lesser civilization that is bent on destroying itself. Maybe that's all they're waiting for. At the rate we're going, unless we change our ways, they may not have much longer to wait. On the other side of the doom cycle we're in, perhaps there is a way we can all solve our problems. As it is written in the prime directive of the universe, no one can interfere with our problems. I guess this means we are alone in the universe after all. May God bless the human race and may we all find a way to live in peace as brothers and sisters on the only place we can call home. Once Mother Earth dies, we will cease to exist. God bless us all. <laughs>